So, uh, welcome back, viewers. Uh, we are here with Nixie Lexi or Lexinary Bird. She has, so we cannot, we I have to mention both of the Nixie Lexi or. Lexina River. She's live here with us on Prestigious Talk Show and uh, she is doing very well. So please, if you really want to know how she has grown all those years, you have to stay with us to hear from her. So we have so many questions that, we are, that I'm going to ask you today. So That's now cool. I really want you to tell us, you know, what was it like growing up for you? Um, Growing up was, I had a very fun childhood. So okay being in an african household obviously you have a large family so a mm -hmm. lot of times um mm -hmm. i have also siblings that made my life really amazing because they're super supportive for everything that i do um, so and then i also travel a lot so mm -hmm. a part of me traveling and going to like have experience living in different countries mm -hmm. kind of also sharpened my mind because it allows me to see different culture it allowed me to interact with different people mm -hmm. and then a big huge part of it i would say also being raised in toronto because toronto is such a diverse city like you find people from all walk of life life like, yes asia mm -hmm. africa um mm -hmm. europe and with that because a lot of times as a children like when we're playing in a playground or we're in a school sports there's yes. all of these things where you would be able to kind of learn from different culture learn from how sometimes similar or differences you are and yes. that also helps and shape who i am and i would mm -hmm. say it, it was like an amazing thing and a lot of things that i do also it is because of the friends that i made or the influence that i got from all of this experience mm -hmm. oh yeah. wow wow thank you for sharing that with us yeah <laughs> especially the fact that you said your your siblings are really supported that's very very good when you have a good support system yeah. from your siblings trust me the sky is just a starting point if you ask yeah. me you honestly know, it, yeah for them, uh, there were so many times where I wanted to produce things or I I was, I have ideas I wanted to bring it out mm -hmm. and I'm always kind of like shy about it or not so mm -hmm. sure. And then my brother always like, you know what, if you keep, because I had this habit of before, whenever I wanted to create an idea, I would produce a 30 second taser, but I'm like coming soon, coming soon. And he's like, okay, when is it going to come? You better <laughs> put that thing out. <laughs> so they pushed me a lot of time. <laughs> to make it happen and that is why i kind of like you know I like that. because of them that's really beautiful commission i love that so and he keeps it keeps pushing you yeah. that is really really good you see now you're talking you're saying it he's there to also encourage you to support you and tell you you can do it you know yeah. you have a good support system you yeah. know so a big thanks to your brother i want to say thank you to him wherever he's watching from right now thank yeah. you so much and if you're watching viewers if you have a family member if a friend a sister a brother or wife husband your partner your siblings you know whoever that person is to you try to support them support when you support somebody it is very very important support mm -hmm. them encourage them the best way you can when you support your support you will not know how far that support will go it will go a long way to yeah. help that person even when that person even when you don't the person don't really believe in themselves when you let them know that yes you have it that will just you know it will help them tap into their strength their innermost strength you have to let them recognize that they have it it's just that maybe they are afraid they don't know mm -hmm. how to even you know tap into that strength but you should be there to support them so that's a very good one that your your brother is doing for you so uh not many people have that they don't have that support system they <laughs> might have the talent but the support system is not there instead yeah. they have dream killers <laughs> <laughs> i hope not <laughs> you don't want to venture into that topic right now there are so many dream killers you tell some people your dream or what you want to do your aspiration they'll tell you no you can do that they just end it there for you entrepreneur journey it's yes. it could be really like lonely at times and it could be really hard because you might be like the, obviously the first person in your family doing it 
or the first Prince in your community doing it. And a lot of people don't understand the idea or understand the magnitude of the vision that you have. Mm -hmm. So it's good to have those people around you or in your circle to be able to be like push you or sometimes mm -hmm. uh, support doesn't necessarily mean money. It means just like mm -hmm. somebody that you can vent Emotional support. Like, yeah. Or somebody mm -hmm. that can actually believe in what you do and be like, hey, go yes. do it. I got this. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. you know, I will help you and rally around you. So mm -hmm. yeah, it comes in so many forms. Yeah. Yeah, thank you so much for sharing that with us. So now I really want to know how do you say tell us how you stay motivated? What keeps Ooh, you motivated? Lord Jesus? <laughs> I want to hear that, please. I maybe my people want to hear that too. Yeah. <laughs> um, I would say what keeps you motivated in the industry, mm -hmm. knowing there is so much competition in this market in terms of you know what you're doing. So what keeps um, you I would yeah. say one of my biggest motivation thing is, is staying true to yourself, is mm -hmm. understanding who you are and what yes. you want to do and, and what makes you so special in this industry that other people don't have. Because um, there, when you go to the grocery store, that was actually an example one of my mentors say, when you go to the grocery store, there's so many bread, uh, bread brand, right? Yes. And there's so many water bread and there's so yes. many like beans beans and stuff like that one company is not looking at the other bread brand and say like you know what they made a good bread i don't want to make the same bread yeah. so i'm not going to enter that industry no they be like okay they make great brand but uh bread i'm going to make my own and change the color change the design mm -hmm. and maybe like change the shape of it and there's people that are going to love the shape and not going to like the other one that is the same thing with you entering in this kind of like entrepreneurship you're understanning your uniqueness understanding yes. that the market is looking for you but also mm -hmm come into this industry knowing that not only are you just making it for profit, but you're making an impact. What mm -hmm. impact are you bringing into the table so that people can actually be able to resonate with you? Mm -hmm. And the mistake a lot of entrepreneurs do is they're trying to sell you the what, but you focus on selling the why. Why should I come to you? Why should I uh, get your server? Why should I even connect with your brand? If they're able mm -hmm. to understand the why that you should do it, you will have longevity of mm -hmm. success of brand that will thrive. And for me, I understood that from the very beginning, beginning. So, okay, 